This is Deep in the Library, the series that digs into my seat. I just realised that this intro sucks and I really need a new one. This is Deep in the Library, the series that digs into my Steam library to see if games are actually good. Except Dame Lab. I don't like Dame Lab. The Counter-Strike series are great games, and a legendary stature on online FPS titles no doubt. However, on my Every Valve Game Worst to Best video, I ranked both the original Counter-Strike and Global Offensive at number 11 and 7, respectively. And if I'm praising the series that greatly, why did I place them that low? Well, I was just mad because I was bad. Originally starting off as a Half-Life mod, Minley and Jess Chris. God help it, I don't f***ing care about Half-Life, just get on with it! I'm absolute crap at this game. I mean, I could improve my skills by playing Aim Lab, but I'd rather go to a nightclub with your mum, if you know what I mean. Fuck Aim Lab! God almighty, the amount of times I've died in a single round of 1.6, I can buy like... Alfredo. The thing I've never liked about games without official matchmaking is the fact you can never find a real game with Counter-Strike, only death matches and intensely modded rounds. I've never been a fan of the Gold Source engine, nor the dated graphics, nor the terrible mouse acceleration. Motherfucker, this bomb looks like a stick of gum and my man gotta go to counselling. It's still got players, like how Simon Cow still has money for exploiting his Axie hires for his multi-million dollar franchise that have only a medium level exposure before falling into obscurity and appearing on some Channel 5 Where Are They Now program, but we don't talk about that. Source is one of my favourite engines, and when it was first being released to the public, Counter-Strike was one of the first games to be ported. Controls are clunky, yet that's a price for the graphics that have really aged well. I think I prefer to actually play deathmatches on this version. I enjoy killing. I have problems. I surrender! Apart from that, it's just some quick fun, but I would never, ever do this. Hey, Klexa, do you want to play some Counter-Strike Source? Pizza! The monthly players of Global Offensive accumulate to the population of Bhutan. Why did you need to know that? I don't know. This is the most polished version of the game that still receives regular updates to this day. Yeah. Despite the graphics of this game on Ultra make my PC feel like the fucking inner core of the earth, the aspects of Global Offensive seem so satisfying. Wait, what's going on? Hey guys, it's me, Gabe New, founder of Valve and the highest bidder of your entire family. My mission is to make more money and rule the world. Buy cases, sell on the marketplace, participate in sales. I don't care. Just give me. Hey Alex, do you want to play some Counter-Strike Global Offensive? Okay! If you remember Firewatch, you are fucking lying, because no you don't. It's a massive shame because I really, really like this game. Anyway, the main praise for this game was for its story, so let's take a look.